Listen, I wanted to give a quick video because unfortunately my Facebook live feed, which I just uploaded, seems to have been interrupted because over here there's very poor internet, so I'm filming this just on my iPhone. Um, basically, I want to give you a whistle-stop tour of the four points which I've learnt uh, in my weekend here in a place called Llano Grande, which is 183 kilometers away from Medellin, and it's one of the most significant uh, FARC disarmament camps here in the country. For those of you who are unfamiliar with FARC, uh, FARC are an ex-guerrilla group here in Colombia. Uh, it stands for the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia. Um, and they signed a peace deal with the Colombian government last year to end a 53-year conflict uh, and are currently going through a process of rehabilitation and reintegration to society. Which is what's happening over here in this camp. What they're all doing is they're getting together and learning skills, technical skills, in how to reintegrate. Okay, so basically the four points which I learned here. Point one, media misrepresentation. It is not in the interest of right-wing uh, propaganda to depict places like Llano Grande as a success story. For example, my friend didn't want to come on this trip with me because of what he'd seen and read in the press. That is an issue, and that is indicative of the larger problem, which is that we're not being given the right information about how this peace process is going about. Media misinformation aside, that leads me on to my second, I think, most important point, which is what matters when you're dealing with a conflict like this? What matters when you're dealing with a conflict that has lasted 53 years, that has left thousands dead and disappeared, and that has deeply polarised the country on a social, political, economic and human level? What matters? I want to propose that we get rid of those old taxonomies that we're constantly falling back on, which is good, evil, right, wrong, correct, false, moral, immoral. Get rid of that shit and focus on the truth. What is the truth? In this place, in Llano Grande, the truth that I'm seeing is that there are, there are paramilitaries, ex-guerrillas and police all sharing a beer and having an aguardiente together. In peace, despite what the media wants to tell you. The truth is the daughter of an ex-guerrilla fighter dating a military official. Just think about that for a second. That wouldn't have happened five years ago. Fuck, that wouldn't have even happened two years ago. But that's happening now and that's the truth. The truth is that the very same hands that would be used to kill people and that would be used to break families are now breaking eggs to make bread. Those same hands that were used to sow hatred and violence throughout this country are now sowing grass so they can play football in their new football pitch. And the third and important point is humanity. Where is the humanity in all the situation? Let's focus on those human stories. It's so easy to turn the enemy into, um, into a monster, into a villain, into a dehumanised robot who is just trained to kill. That's so easy to do. What is difficult to do is how to see them as a human being, how to appreciate their side of the story. And I want to just leave you with one story to illustrate that, which is about the disarmament of guns. To us, we just see, oh, you know, what's the big deal? You hand in your gun and you get, you get uh, free accommodation, you get free food, you get training, you get integrated, you get excused from prison, bang, 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 you get all this stuff, all you have to do is hand in your gun. Well, how about for a second we consider what that actually represented for these people, which is also really important to understand. I'm not saying to sympathise with either movement. This is not a political, I'm not taking political sides. I'm just saying, I spoke to people yesterday and they were saying the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my life is hand over the weapon that was given to me when I was six years old, the weapon I was trained how to use, my companion from childhood. What I'd learned, that's, that, was my, that was my source of income. That was my source of security. That was uh, that saved my life many times. And that was taken through the death of loved ones. To get guns requires lives, and that, that, lo those people lost their lives getting me that gun. And for me to hand it in was the most difficult thing. It was like handing, it was like clipping your wings. It was literally my livelihood. And so the second we can understand the human side of those things, then we can start to work better to making, to making our integration process holistic and to appreciate every side of the story because it's so important. And my fourth and final point I want to make is about hope and reconciliation. Right now, I'm on my way to um, a fancy dress Halloween party here at the camp. So to all those people who tell me that, uh, that the FARC and these ex-guerrillas are inherently evil, inherently bad people, please tell me, where's the inherent evil in this? <laughs> Porque suele para las niñas, por un lado, para las niñas.